YouTube, what's up? Figure I'd start, I'd speak on these Browns real quick. Tough loss. Tough loss. I like what I saw um, offensively. Um, defensively, we look pretty much how we looked all season. Um, Lamar Jackson, that's a tall order to stop this guy, you know. Um, if I had to nitpick on the uh, on the uh, on the uh, on the game, you know, because defense was just, you know, you can't stop the run. That's just, you know, that's just what it is. But if I had to nitpick on one play that really put us in a bind that kind of jacked us up was a uh, fourth quarter game is tied fourth and five. Lamar Jackson comes in, you know, after uh, backup got hurt, comes in, we blitz. We call a blitz play call to flush Jackson out the pot. That's the last thing you want to do with a player like Lamar Jackson is blitz to allow him to run out of the pocket and make play. Because that's, I mean, that's, that's essentially just giving him the play. That's giving him opportunity. It's a win-win when you put Lamar Jackson in that situation. Now, with any other quarterback, I would be like, okay, yeah, go ahead and blitz. But Lamar Jackson, if anything, you 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 rush four, maybe even three. Put a spy on him, force him to make a throw, force him to make a throw, protect the protect the first down. If he get the touchdown, he just get it. He have to make that play. But I would rather live with those kind of results than to call a blitz play call to, f to flush, because that's what it was. Flush Jackson out the pocket to open the whole entire universe for him to make anything happen. It has made it easy. Bad play call. Bad. We lost and we really didn't have to. It was just a bad play call. Stefanski, amazing as usual. Great play calling, great scheming. Baker was lights out. You know, I mean, you can ask for a better game offensively. You just couldn't. But boy, that one play probably hurt us. And it probably that probably took us out, man. We we scored, we came right back and scored, but I mean, come on, you we letting Lamar Jackson back on the field. That's that's you know. And then you got a sniper kicker and Tucker. Come on. <sighs> Tough loss, man. Tough loss. But hey, it's all good. It's not over. We still good. Let's go. It's go brown still. It's still go browns. I'm happy with what I've seen overall. I'm happy with my Browns. But I had to I had to uh and it's funny. Look, let me share this with you. I got, you know, I'm, I get into it with a buddy. First of all, that blitz play call just put our defense in a horrible, just crippled us, right? My buddy is mad because we let the receiver go for the touchdown. You know, you know. But you're in a situation, you got three, I think it's three defenders out there trying to cover. And you got Lamar Jackson running for a first down. You go. I feel like this is how I feel. Y'all tell me what y'all think. But I feel like the Browns did what they were supposed to do. And try not to let Lamar Jackson make the play with his legs to get the first down. Because if we'd have made the play, if anything, disrupt the pass, anything, rush it, make him throw it too hard, whatever, it would have been turnover on downs. And I would rather Lamar Jackson make that throw to make the play than make the play with his legs. Personally, that's how I feel. But he feel like the defense was stupid and they let the receiver get wide open. I don't I don't feel like that, per se. But I feel like it was an interesting conversation uh, to bring up in this polo video. I mean, this polo, this uh, YouTube video. I figured y'all let me know what y'all think. And I went back and forth with this dude for about 20 minutes on the same play. He... He studied talking about what he should, what the, what, uh, the defense should have did. And I'm saying that what the defense should have did. And we going in circles. But anyway, I just wanted to speak on this Browns game, man. I'm disappointed at the loss, but then I'm happy of, of, of the overall performance. And, uh, 
yeah, we we I'm solid. I'm happy with my Browns so far. You know, overall, I'm happy with what my Browns is looking like. They don't get the hat love, of course. They get, you know, Cavaliers. They don't get the hat love, but I still love my Browns, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Rome, I'm gone.